What's happening, everybody? Hope you guys are having a sweet day. I'm Biscuit Dog, and we're back in my time at Porsche, you guys. So in between episodes, I've spent about two in-game days collecting resources, doing a few jobs for people. Well, actually only doing one job for one person. We built some bricks, and we sent them to the lady who owns the farm across the road. And uh, she gave us 150 golds, I think. Which is handy, you guys, let's face it, because we need to pay Remington 80 golds a week to go mine in the ruins. So we've got the money we need to go mine in the ruins right now. I think we're going to need some inventory space. Space, which is why I built a chest. Look at that. Amazing. And above our chest is our builder's license. We're now fully certified as a builder in the town of Porsche and we have the papers to prove it. <laughs> so I've been collecting a bunch of stuff off camera. I've been collecting a bunch of wood, a bunch of stone, some plant fiber, herbs, marble, all the stuff you can find basically just around the workshop. I haven't done really any exploring. I haven't done anything new without you guys. But uh, my inventory is looking pretty full. It's not full, but it's uh, it's got some stuff in it. So what I think we're going to do is leave most of our stuff in the chest so that we have enough space for the awesome loot we're about to find in the ruins, you guys. That's the plan. Okay, let's drop some of this stuff off. We're not going to need this. We're not going to need worms. Plant fiber? Eh, to climb, maybe? Oh no, we'll get a jetpack. Probably not. Bricks we can leave here. We're we should probably take the boxing gloves just in case. Remington did say there were no monsters in this ruin, but uh, you never know. Don't want to get caught with our pants down. Tree sap will leave, the bone will leave, all that stone will leave. We're definitely taking this. And maybe we should take that too. Maybe we should take these as well for stamina. Are these edible? Have we eaten any of these? Snake berries, sweet berry species found in the wild. Sounds good. We'll leave the wood. We'll leave the marble, we'll leave the herbs, and we'll leave the animal feces. Okay. Hopefully Remington's there and we can get in. Oh, it's raining. Oh, this looks really nice. Never seen this before. Another cool thing that happened once we got our papers, you guys, is the name we chose for the workshop is now above the door. I thought that was really cool. We've got some new post here as well, so we might as well read that. Get this over with. From City Hall. Okay, we have some important announcement at tonight's fireside meeting in Peach Plaza. Please try to make it. 7 p.m. sharp. Mayor Gale. Day 7. Ugh, that's two days old. We really missed that meeting pretty badly. I should probably read these every day. I'm Dawa, the keeper of the Porsche tree farm. Oh yeah, we know this guy. Well, we don't know him, but we know we know where his tree farm is. The last storm we had blew down some of the fencing. We're closed until it's fixed, so I need you to help me fix it as soon as possible. We'll need five wooden boards. Thank you. Okay, I don't think we can do that right now because wooden boards need hardwood, which needs the second tier of axe, which we do not yet have. Pick up time before the 18th day, month one, year one. So we've got about 10 days to get this done. We need the second tier of X in 10 days. Let's accept this. We've got enough time to play around. 150 golds. It's not a bad amount of money to make from one job. It seems like the average payment, it does change from uh, job to job. I think if we get the bridge built, we're going to get 1,500 golds. So that's a lot of money. But uh, 150 golds is plenty. I mean, it's enough to buy some food and your rent of the ruins for a whole week. So that's pretty good. We got one more here from Paulie. Hey, new builder. I have a manly commission for you to get you settled in. You feeling it? <laughs> I'm in need of three copper blades for some of my furniture. Your furniture has copper blades? You really are manly. I expect macho quality, okay? <laughs> also, you'll need a grinder to make them if you don't have one already. That's all I know about builder stuff. All right, cool. We'll accept that because we're... Uh... We're halfway to a grinder here already. This is the other thing I did in between episodes. I got two of the three parts of the grinder ready. We made uh, copper bars and grinding stones. So we got both of those going. We just need two old parts, which I'm fairly sure we'll find in the ruins. Ruins are old. Old parts are old. What could go wrong? So I think we're pretty much ready to speak to Remington and go ruin diving here, you guys. I've never done it before, but uh, I'm super excited. We've got all the inventory space in the world. We've even got berries to keep our stamina up. Hopefully they help. Do we just eat them like this? I suppose our stamina's full. No good trying a berry right now. Let's just pick up all this stuff on the way there. We've got plenty of space. a good way to lose stamina as well. Oh, 
All right, we've run our stamina down a little bit here now, so we're at 229 of 245. Let's eat a berry, see what happens. Can we eat a berry? No. F, Q, E, R? Whoops, did we drop the berries? Damn it, I think we've dropped the berries. Oh, we put them in our main backpack. It looks like, it looks like these berries are not edible alone. Maybe we have to cook them or something. We're really gonna have to get a grill going as soon as possible, you guys. Being able to make our own nutritious, tasty food is gonna, is gonna take the stress off the bank balance a little bit. Doesn't look like we can eat these berries at all. Let's go see what's inside this ruin, you guys. Pay 80 goals for a weekly pass into the abandoned ruins. Yes! Mining tutorial. Alright, aim the reticle at the position you want to dig. Click the left mouse button to dig. Okay, select pick or drill tool. Drill tool? Man, there's so much stuff to craft in this game and it's all pretty complex. Like, uh, like you're getting ready to build one thing, then you realize you need the other thing to build that thing, so you go on a mission to build the other thing, and then that keeps happening, and you end up in this like complicated cycle of crafting, but it's really, really cool. Um, I thought it was quite simple at first, it appears quite simple. I think I think the graphics kind of tricked me into thinking that the crafting was quite simple, but it looks more and more complicated every time I play it, you guys. I want to drill now. <laughs> anyway, we're probably going to have to wait for that for some time. Press the F key to scan with the relic scanner. The surrounding relics will show up as globes of light. Alignment the reticle on the globe of light. Align the reticle on the globe of light for a second to detect and lock the position of the relic. Press the F key again to close the scanner. The relic lock on will remain. Press and hold the space bar to use the jetpack. Oh yeah, we rent a jetpack. Mm, that should be fun. Use the movement controls to move around. Simple enough. Open the map. Press the E key to go to the entrance of the ruins. Alright, that indicates that the ruins are probably quite complex. It's probably quite easy to get lost, if I'm guessing, because uh, we've got a way to fast travel to the entrance. But that's always good to know. Open the map and press E. Alright. Ooh. What's going on down here? Ooh, I like this jetpack, you guys. Does it, does it have a limit? Doesn't look like it. Seems fairly empty down here. I guess we're gonna have to dig. Ooh, what's that? That's obviously a relic. Okay, we've locked on. Oh, that shows us exactly where it is. Cool, man. Let's start digging. Oh, we get stone and sand too. If only we could get wood, this would be the only place I hung out all day. I really, really hope old parts come from down here. Come on. Now I see why we need the jetpack. What is this? Old parts! Yes, you guys! Haha, <laughs> progress. Things are coming along nicely. Let's scan again. Maybe we should scan from the bottom of the hole. Oh yeah, there's more stuff. Oh, 17 meters away, we're gonna need to go pretty deep. Gotta keep an eye on the old stamina here, just in case we pass out. I've passed out so many times. It's already 4 o'clock in the afternoon, what was that? Mysterious data disk. We got two? Hold on a second. Fixing the fence, furniture maker, mysterious data disk. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe I should go to the research center and ask around. Fair enough. Okay, so we gotta go to the research center and ask about these discs. No, wait. The second disc, we have to go to the, we have to go talk to someone in the church. I guess this is the church guy. We get ten church guy points if we do that. <laughs> I guess these are uh, I guess these are information about those two places. I wonder. We're gonna have to go do that and find out. We're not gonna do it now though, because we got mining to do. Tin ore. Cool. So there's different kinds of ores down here as well. I didn't know you could dig straight down like this. I wonder if you could just do this on the normal map. I doubt it. Look 
because that would make for loads of craziness. Another old part. Small engine. That sounds important. Ooh, there's one right here. <laughs> this is like crack, you guys. I just want to keep going. Damn this stamina bar. Damn these berries, too. I was sure they were tasty and nutritious. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to feed them to the pig with bells on his ears. Or maybe Pinky, the obese cat. <laughs> that cat better be careful. That pig may mistake it for a, for another pig. I mean, <laughs> it would be wrong, and it would be super ugly. That would really that would really send shockwaves through the town of Porsche, I think. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Disgusting. Another small engine. That's great, but I need old parts. Small engines seem really like an important thing to find. I might have lucked out here. Nothing else? Damn, we're gonna have to go to another part of the ruin. Jetpack, ho! Oh my god. Oh, we made it out the hole. There's something down here. Seven meters. That's not too far. Let's grab this one. Power stone. That's new too. Man, there's so much stuff to loot down here. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna pass out down here at some point. I'm totally forgetting about stamina and just just getting loot fever. Come on, old parts me. Old parts me mine. Power stone? Damn you, Remington, your mine is junk. I'm, li I'm looking for specific things. Okay, those two are close together, so they're probably worth going to check out. Ah, we can only do one at a time. Good to know. Good to know. Let's get in here. Come on, old parts. Small clock, damn it. This is all going to be very useful, I'm sure, but I'm really looking for old parts. Old parts, ha, there we go. Okay, so we've we've got a week of doing this for 80 goals. I think that's pretty good. Maybe maybe this is beginner's luck. Maybe we were like extraordinarily lucky. I'm not sure, you guys, but we got both the old parts we needed and a bunch of other stuff I don't know what it does. So that's going to come in useful for sure. I mean, if we can't use it, we can sell it to somebody, surely. Hey, here's the entrance. We didn't even need to fast travel. Can we get up this way? Ooh, there's a whole other bit down the back here. To, mm, I should have checked this out. Anything on the surface? How far away are you? 17 meters. Eh, it's a goose chase, you guys. We got stuff to do. All right, this is lots and lots of fun. I'm going to be spending a lot of time down here. Let's get out of here, though, and build our grinder. Man, it's still raining. Wow, that was loads of fun. That outfit was really cool, too. We got to make ourselves some of that equipment. <laughs> and there were no monsters in that one either, so I think the others have all got monsters in them, so it's going to be a combination of mining and fighting. I think that's going to be a winning combination, actually. I think this is going to be a really fun game. Like, the crafting has really surprised me. It's really getting deep now. For everything I want to build, I need to build, like, three or four other things. I need to go work out how to do that, and, uh... And, like, you go down this rabbit hole of going to work out how to do the things you need to do to go and get the thing you need to get, to build the thing you need to make, and, uh, it's really fun. Level 7. Good. Level 7 and a caterpillar. It's a good day. Oh, more pig berries. They should call them pig berries, because I'm totally feeding them to the pig. Let's go build this grinder. I think we need the old parts in our hand. Three and place them. Sweet, you guys. Okay, we've got a grinder now. Let's place this and see what kind of madness we can get into. Alrighty. 
Okay, copper blades. Great. So we can make a we can make that weirdo who has copper blade furniture his three copper blades in a macho fashion. We can also make bronze pipe now, copper pipe, pulley. Part of a mechanical system. Can save a lot of energy when installed in the right spot. Hmm, that sounds really useful. Bearing too. We're definitely going to need some bearings. Copper wire as well. So that's great. We can now craft all of this stuff, but there's so much more stuff to make, you guys. I don't know what we're going to make next, but I'm kind of thinking of a grill. I wonder if we have the stuff it takes to make a grill. Let's check it out. Do do do. Stone furnace and grinder. Okay, we have both of those. What's next? Civil cutter. We need copper blades, stone bricks, stone, copper bars, and copper ore. That's not too bad. Basic skyver. Don't need that right now. Can't make these right now either. DD transport. Definitely can't make that. Hey, it needs a small engine. We found two of those. Great. What if we can make these and sell them? Everyone will be driving around in tuk-tuks. It'll be crazy. It'll be like Thailand. Okay, we're definitely getting steps closer to the tuk-tuk, you guys, because we can make glass now in the furnace. We just found sand, and we just found small engines. So that's good times. Here we go, grill. Water tank? Simple water tank. You can see this everywhere, used to save water. We're probably going to need one of those as well. Let's see what it takes to build a grill. Copper rack and wooden tray. I'm guessing copper rack is made out of copper wire, but I'm not sure. Don't know how to make a copper rack yet. Don't know how to make a wooden tray either. I think one of the most important things we could do right now is get a tier 2 axe. So I'm going to need to work on bronze and uh, start smelting some bars and stuff, you guys. Pretty sure you could probably find bronze ore down in the mine. We might have found it. I wasn't looking too hard. Let's take a look now. What have we got? We've got soil. That's copper. That's tin. Two small engines. Two power stones. One small clock. Hmm. A bunch of stone and a bunch of sand. So no, we, we didn't find any bronze ore. So no bronze, but maybe the deeper we go, the more cool stuff we'll find. I don't know, you guys. I'm going to need to go back into that mine in between episodes, see what I can find down there. Maybe, maybe do a really deep tunnel, see if stuff gets better as we go down. I really, really like the mining, you guys. I think I'm going to be spending a lot of time down there. Obviously, you're going to need to, because you need all the stuff that's down there to build all the stuff you need. So, <laughs> we also have to look towards making that bridge as well, because I think the reward for that bridge is 1,500 goals, which is a pretty massive amount of money, considering that the average job gives you 150 goals. So, it's around 10 times average payment for a job. It is a big job, but we can do it. All we need is that tier 2x. I'm going to work on that in between episodes, you guys. But I think I'm going to leave it here for today. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.